Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video today, I will be talking about the mediocre melody. So, for those of y'all who have never played FNAF 6 or any of the other FNAF games, the mediocre melody is pretty much another kind of animatronic band, kind of like uh, Freddy and Bonnie and Foxy and all of them. Although the mediocre melody doesn't really serve as big of a purpose in the FNAF lore itself. Like, yes, you can buy the animatronics in FNAF 6, and they appear in FNAF Ultimate Custom Night as the voice of Cassidy, but besides that, they don't really do anything else throughout the rest of the story. But have you ever wondered, in FNAF Ultimate Custom Night, with this huge roster of FNAF characters, why are the mediocre melodies, why are they specifically the only animatronics that give voice to Cassidy? For those of y'all who don't know who Cassidy is, pretty much Cassidy is a kid who William Afton killed and went on to possess Golden Freddy. So, yeah. But now back to the question, why were the mediocre melodies the only one? And I guess you could just write it off as a as just so you they actually have purpose in that game. But that's not how Scott Cawthon likes to do stuff. Scott Cawthon likes to make everything, every single detail of each game specific and important to the lore. Kind of like a poem in a, in a way, if you think about it. So yeah, we'll be answering that question in this video. So to answer this question, we have to go all the way back to the first appearance of the Mediocre Melody, and you might be thinking that that is FNAF 6. But actually, the Mediocre Melody goes all the way back to FNAF 3, believe it or not. Now I know that sounds like a complete lie that the Mediocre Melody appeared in a FNAF game that only had one animatronic that could actually kill you. But if you look in the Happiest Day minigame, which is uh, one of the secret endings, I believe, I might be wrong on that, you will see that the person you're playing as, as you walk over to pretty much like Golden Freddy and Freddy and the rest of the animatronics, or the rest of the kids' souls, technically, um, you pass these people with animal masks, and some of them clearly represent what will later become known as the Mediocre Melody in this series. Based on the colors and shapes of each mask, you have Happy Frog, Pig Patch, Mr. Hippo, a random blue one, and finally you have Orville Elephant. So some of y'all might think that this is a bit of a stretch to say that this is the Mediocre Melody, especially when there's a random blue uh, masked part one, but like, there's no blue, mediocre melody animatronic. But like, the more I look at them, the more I think that like, that really can't be a coincidence. The fact that mm, so much of those look really similar to the mediocre melody. Four out of the five of them share like, super close similarities. So, yeah. And if this theory is true, then it brings up a whole nother question. Why is the mediocre melody in Cassidy's final, like, birthday thing? So, we all know that this minigame is supposed to represent the birthday, like Cassidy getting the birthday that she should have gotten that was interrupted by her getting murdered by William Afton. So, why would they be here? So, we can already assume that the Mediocre Melody had their own kind of building, their own kind of company that wasn't related to F Freddy's Family Diner or anything. And we can tell this by one of the Frasbear Fight Frights books. Um, more on that book later. But for now, what if, what if, uh, Cassidy is like a fan of not only of like the Freddy's Pizza restaurant where she had her birthday at, but also like the Mediocre Melodies kind of restaurant. So that would explain why Cassidy likes the Mediocre Melodies, or at least uses them 
as her voice in FNAF Ultimate Custom Night. But before we continue, I just want to bring up an old theory that kind of helps with like the origins of the Mediocre Melody. This is originally a game theory, and pretty much uh, what he said is that in one of the Frasbear Frights books, I forgot which one it was, but uh, I'll show it up on the screen right now. I don't remember the name for it, though. Uh, there's like a, a pizza place that isn't related to Freddy's Pizzeria. And like the animatronics there are kind of described like there's a pig one and like kind of other animatronics there that kind of resemble the mediocre melody in a way. In, but like it's in the Frasbear Frights book. And uh, pretty much they also mention a weird bird thing as one of the animatronics at the Mediocre Melodies kind of type restaurant area in this book. So pretty much uh, Game Theory thinks, and also I feel like this is also a pretty cool idea as well, maybe Chica is originally from the Mediocre Melodies, but then like the people who work at like Freddy's, they end up like buying kind of the animatronic and using it for their their new building that they open up in like 1983 or like around that time old breaks down frequently these things are straight up busted the roster includes a banjo strumming country pig a bear creatively named baron von bear two other unnamed creatures that have already broken down and a quote weird bird thing I just thought that was pretty cool, especially since it informs us more about the mediocre melody. But then there's one last question that we still need to answer in this video. If the mediocre melody is their own separate kind of company, then why can you buy the animatronics and use them in FNAF 6? And to answer this final question, we're going to have to look at the timeline of this series. All this stuff that I've been talking about with like Chica being a part of the Mediocre Melody, but then being bought out by like Freddy Fazbear, the Freddy Fazbear Company, all of that is happening around 1983, maybe a little bit before then even, which that means it's before uh, these animatronic characters and stuff started getting a bad reputation because of William Afton being a psychopath and murdering people and animatronics being possessed. That, nine, that was all after 1983 for the most part. But then after that, we don't see like the mediocre melody for a next like 30 years around until whenever FNAF 3 takes place. And even then, it's not actually the mediocre melodies. It's just like people's spirits or like just kind of people with like mediocre melody masks on them so it's not like the actual animatronics or an actual mediocre melody building so i think that probably like the mediocre melody company or building or whatever it was had to close down because of like the bad reputation that fazbear entertainment was giving to all these like animatronic companies that work on like kids entertainment with animatronics because we all know that like pe murders at like the FNAF buildings and stuff in the FNAF universe people do know about the murders and stuff in FNAF 3 the like kind of theme park or ride type place is literally based off of the past events of like the murders and stuff that happened in the FNAF places. So it's not like a it's 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 a pretty well known th thing all those murders and stuff that happened. So I'm thinking maybe once all that murder and all the crazy stuff started to go down with William Afton and the uh Fred Bear company whatever company that is uh once all that started to go down then the mediocre melody went down with it because 
it probably gave a bad reputation for like all of these companies with animatronics involving animatronics so yeah if i mean you probably wouldn't want to go if you've seen or heard about possessed animatronics that might actually be real in this real world and stuff then you might not want to go to a another kind of place like Chuck E. Cheese that also has animatronics that are pretty similar and also pretty creepy. So I feel like that kind of the same thing is probably happening with the mediocre melody. Kind of FNAF is giving all of those companies a bad reputation in the FNAF universe. I'm not talking about real life. And then from a business perspective, you use the Mediocre Melody animatronics in FNAF 6 as a form of advertisement like, hey, we know FNAF has a bad reputation in the past, but this is also a Mediocre Melody place, so it's completely safe. So that way it might bring in more customers. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And goodbye.